Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Wednesday, January 14th, 2026. It's about 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. I want to get a few things accomplished today. I want to start with our uh, report from yesterday. There it is there, 113. Let me make sure of it. Bear with me while I scroll up to the top here. There we go. There's our market close from yesterday. There's our auto trade systems. And we're going to try to show you guys a trade here uh, today like we did the other day. Okay. The system is uh, triggers and targets. I use Fibonacci and Elliott Waves money management system. Trading system is important. Money management is more important. I use Ryan Jones fixed ratio system. Limits loss is to 5%. Most important is discipline. You have to have discipline to uh, stay within your system. So you need a trading system, you need a money management system, and you need the discipline to stay with those systems to keep from running out of money. <clears throat> How these auto trades work is you would open a futures trading account with Striker Securities. They will auto trade my trades in your account that you open with them. There is all the contact information there. The beauty of it is you don't have to sit there and watch the markets and charts all day. I do that for you. And you can see our uh, our trades here on the E-minis <clears throat> going back to September into the end of the year. There are a lot more losses, number of losses than wins. Okay. Our number of losses outnumbers our number of wins. But you can see we have a pretty good sized profit there. That's because of the money management system. We keep our losses tight within the 5% and many times way less than that. Okay. One of our many testimonials here, uh, kind of bouncing this one in and out. But uh, this guy's followed every guru in, for 30 years. Most accurate, most sincere. Uh, no BS, no fluff. Absolute confidence. He had confidence in my call to make a trade and many trades actually but on this one in one day he made fifty four thousand two hundred and sixty dollars trading zero DTEs okay zero date to expiration those are risky ninety percent of them maybe more than that expire worth zero worthless but uh, when you can make money it's good I've done it before I'm doing it presently okay um, I auto traded the uh, triggers and targets financials uh, yesterday and that was today yesterday and um, we were featured in investing.com nice article there if you guys can click on that link it's a good read here is what we put out yesterday for our customers we're looking at the hourly bar but we're looking at a much a much shorter time frame from this 6774 low Okay, we have a one up, two down, three up, four overlaps, one. That makes it a leading diagonal for the first wave, one in parentheses. So it's one, two, three, four, five, makes a larger degree wave one. Yesterday we were calling that complete. We're looking for a wave two decline. Here were our targets 6935, 6904, 6872.75, and 6828.25. Two five. Okay, I think that's about it on that. Yeah, we don't need to get into the time. There's the verbiage of that. Okay, so we'll go from that. Bear with me here. Let's go to the charts. Let's go look at this ES chart. I think I have that. Nope. Yep. There's that same chart. Okay, there's where our targets going into today. And so far, a direct hit on the 382. Actually, it looks like it made a lower, is that 35? 69.2650 now, okay. 69, let me change that. The beauty of going live, okay. And that should go under that, so. Bear with me why, well. Here we go. I don't know if that qualifies for a direct hit. It's now uh, nine points off, I think it is. Yep, 20, or maybe even 11. Okay. Uh, 
we were looking at trade well we already traded that and we're looking at getting another trade okay but there's what we're looking at here okay there's our targets we have a completed five way for one here's our targets for two and so far we're down to between the 382 and the 500 okay let's look at let me look at the SPX because that's what we were trying to trade there we don't want to go daily let's look at the hourly nope let's look at the 10 minute okay I wanted to point this out here okay and I've got the EMA's exponential moving averages there and the uh, stochastic there generally you like to get that out of that way but whenever you see five waves in one direction in this case up okay followed by five waves in the opposite direction in this case down you have a change in trend now this is a 10 minute chart so it's at least a short term change in trend we could see a five down three up five down and that would be the end of it it'd be a 535 or an ABC correction which is what we got back uh, let me go here where was it nope 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 it's not, okay we had that correction complete here it was right here ABC okay this right here from the um, December 11th high into the December 18th low ABC three wave correction complete but it was a five down three up a five down okay so let's get back to what we were looking at in the SPX so we got five up followed by five down so what we're looking at here you can see I've got the um, one two three four five and here's the black line where five equals one perfect okay so we have our retracements of this five wave decline and the 382 gets us to 69.27 50 percent is right around uh, 69.38 618 is 60 949 and you can see there's where the the um, exponential EMA is right around the fourth wave usually it likes to retrace up to the fourth wave of the previous degree of trend so we'll see how that plays out we did get in on this um, on this initial downside with a zero DTE ourselves we got a 6890 SPX put uh, I think we bought it at um, 10 and sold it at 13 and a half or 14 so we caught that uh, decline there just in and out just a few minutes uh, trade okay let's look at this now on a one minute all right so here we go uh, this is what we're looking at here we've got a one down a two up and then this wave three is a one two three four five all right and now we need a retracement of that third wave in red with the parentheses okay so you can see so far this will probably go five three five one two three four five down and five up and then three down then five up we'll have to watch it but that fourth wave is usually where it goes you can see the a move up to a fourth wave high would put us between the 382 and the 500 actually almost right on the 500 so it's pretty close so that's what we're looking at there we're looking for an entry we've moved above that um that red ema so we'll see how this plays out here are the same numbers here okay so we're looking to get short on this bounce so uh, I don't know that we'll have all that amount of dead time not trading to make that trade but I would like to get in around this 382 between this 382 and this 500 okay right in here that fourth wave high is at 69.32 uh, the 382 is 69.27 and the 50% retrace is at 59.18 so that's what we're looking to do and that's on the 10 minute chart i like to trade the 10 minute we're just looking at segments here we got five down looking for a retrace and then catch the next five down let's just uh play this out okay i'm gonna move this out of the way so there's not too many lines here okay there's our targets in red for this retrace up okay so let's just this is assuming but um, we're going to get an idea here. Let's put the magnet on. Make sure it's a strong magnet. There it is, strong magnet. So we'll go from that top, okay, to the bottom. That's a one down. And let's just assume or 
extrapolate out into the future that this will go to the 50% retrace which is right here okay so let's put our uh, our waves in here okay take that off for the waves that would be a one we're in a 10 minute chart and that would be a two up here okay so if this turns around we want to see a move below the wave one low to verify that wave three down is in play and if it is our first target is 6841 so that's some um, almost a hundred points from where it would go up if it goes up there we don't know that yet we're just saying what if okay and then the 1.618 is way down here at 67.82 that's a good chunk of change there if you can get a good entry okay so first question where is it wrong let's just say it goes up here it does 50 percent retrace and we get short where is it wrong two cannot retrace more than a hundred percent of one so it can't go up here it can't go above 69.86 that's why those 786 retraces are great entries because where are you wrong is a much smaller loss than the 382 50 percent or 618 so we'll watch that and play out and then what i like to do is get to the one minute chart and just see the pattern you know typically a two is a five three five five up for a three down for b and five up for c well we'll have to watch it play out and let's look at that one minute to see how it's going so far yeah it's um it still has that potential okay but anyway getting back here this is where we're looking to get in oh by the way if it if it goes below this wave one low which is 6890.75 without getting to these targets that means this first wave is extending and how do you know you count waves okay we got one two three four five if you get nine 13 17 those are all multiples that means that wave is extending okay so we'll watch that too if it gets below here without getting to these targets this wave is extending down if it goes to these targets that first wave is extending down if it goes to these targets and makes a two and then it goes down that means we're in wave three and we look at those targets okay so again we like to look at that uh, one minute for entries and then 10 minute uh, for trading and then for bigger picture verification we look at the uh the hourly chart okay and then we got our emas and our our um technical indicators there so let's get back here to the one minute and rather than wait forever for for an entry we're going to watch this play out maybe we'll do another uh video on top of it but uh, let's leave you guys with that um let's go to the ES on the hourly there we go okay if you're trading futures we got five waves up now we've got wave two in progress to the downside with our downside targets once two in parentheses down is complete we'll get wave three up and eventually at the larger degree of trend we've got a one up two down and those are our wave three targets up there 71 75 and a quarter and 74 24 and three quarters but we got to get through two down first and then three four five in parentheses to make the larger degree wave three okay hope we didn't get too much into the weeds for you guys there well, let's look back and see if we have no we don't have an entry yet and this thing might break below there and extend for wave one down so we'll keep watching it okay that's it for uh this time and until next time take care everyone